Morning. Uh, back at ya. Morning, sup. Having a nice morning? Thank you! Splendid. Where are we off to? Fantastic. Call when you need a ride back. Welcome, lads. Well then, how may I be of service? Of course, I'll have it ready in a mo. Look out, stomach. Always welcome here. Altician officials are hard at work on reopening the altar of the slumbering sea goddess. Access to the area around the shrine is currently restricted to government personnel only. The Piazza U Rail will also be closed to the public ahead of Lady Luna Freya's address. Officials will be sealing off the plaza to secure the area and ensure the safety of all in attendance. So, care to take a cruise? Gentlemen, it has been a pleasure. Thank you for coming. No sweat. First things first. Thanks for coming to greet us in person. It's the least I could do for a king. Wescom didn't extend me an invitation, so I decided to extend my own. Those circumstances have changed. 
Both the King and the Oracle are finally in Altitia. You said that you have Luna in your care. Doesn't that pose a risk to your nation? Is the King concerned for our relations with the Empire? But it's true. The Oracle is a risk, one we are prepared to shed with. Whether we do so depends on you. Now, let me ask some questions of my own. Why does the Oracle seek to awaken the Hydrian? She wants to forge a covenant so I can receive Leviathan's blessing. <laughs> the answer I wanted to hear. And yet, king or not, it can't be a simple affair for you to receive a god's blessing. Let me be frank. The potential chaos worries me. You know better than most what took place in Lucis with Archean. Tell me, what happened? I met Titan, and he gave me his power. Just like the legends, though the Empire doesn't like the way the story goes. Even as we speak, they mobilize their forces. It seems there's no avoiding chaos. It will most likely come to war. However, I don't care to host a battle on my soil. The gods and the Empire be damned. It would be a disaster if a battle took place in the city. Indeed. We must be prepared to evacuate our citizens. And that's the deal you want to make? Perceptive and direct. Makes things that much easier when you can dispense with the dance. Without further ado, let us talk terms. If you wish to hold the right, you must ensure my citizens' safety and aid in their evacuation. All right. I'll do as you ask. I'm pleased to hear it. As long as the people's safety is assured, I have no qualms with your right. And that is not all. Once the right has begun, I will not be accountable for what follows. You are on your own. Not a problem. We know how to take care of ourselves. Thank you. I'm sorry we cannot do more. But as I'm sure you are aware, few armies can stand against the might of the Imperial fleet. That is all for the terms. To review, you are to ensure our citizens' safety and engage the Empire. Do we have an agreement? All right. Let's fight together as allies. Allies? Such a vote of confidence. Well, you can trust us to do our part and keep the Oracle safe. A final warning. Though I doubt it'll come to it. My duty is to my citizens. Should any harm befall them, there will be a reckoning for both King and Oracle. All right. You do what you must for your people. You're just like your father. Thanks. You've made the right decision. Madam, it's time. Assign three of your own for the evacuation effort. Whom you choose is up to you. According to our intel, the Imperial fleet will be four warships strong. Steal yourselves for a full-scale battle. I'm glad we could talk. We can each act in our own interest to our mutual benefit. <laughs> I can't promise something I can't help. Of course. You certainly opened up to them, though. 
What can I say? I have a soft spot for the young and tragic. They've lost Regis. They've lost the crystal. Was it so long ago the last oracle was taken from them? We've seen the Empire go mad these ten odd years. During the rite, we must see to it. The Empire does not harass Leviathan. Gonna be tough to pull off before the King receives her power. And with three of us on evacuation detail. Indeed. The best we can realistically do is to help the Hydrian help herself. What kind of help are you talking about? Just like Titan, the Empire will seek to immobilize Leviathan. Oh, with the harpoon things? If we can dislodge them from the Goddess, she will have a fighting chance. Sounds good in theory, but don't push it. It's pointless, unless you can get that blessing. Stay flexible, stay alert. All right, will do. If worse comes to worse, you can threaten to throw the trident into the sea. Then they'll listen. In the meantime, it will be well guarded. Better than the Oracle herself. Understood. I shall reclaim it at the altar. Remember, you'll be under Imperial Watch. Right. Think of it as a necessary evil in order to forge the Covenant. I am in your debt. Once it's over, you may go as you please. But you do so without our protection. So be it. You'd better get going. Your public is waiting for you. You in position? Yep. Don't forget the plan. You guys too? Of course. <sighs> Talk about a crowd. Like the whole city's come to watch. Dear friends, I stand before you today with little hope the words I speak shall reach 
beyond these walls. For slowly, but surely, the light fades from our world, and as it does, the shadows shall loom ever longer until all succumbs to the darkness. Darkness that evokes terror, hatred, and sorrow in the hearts of men. The ashes of Lucis. A dream of peace, twisted into a nightmare of death and destruction, claiming innumerable lives and leaving myriad souls to suffer. Luna. Yet I beg you, do not surrender to despair. Have faith, for our gods watch over us. By their blessings, by the stars that light the heavens above, our world will be delivered from the perils of the dark. I stand before you here in Altitia to call upon Leviathan, goddess of the seas, spirit of the deep. By the sacred rite, I will commune with the Hydrian. But first, I offer you my solemn vow. On my honor as Oracle, I will not rest until the darkness is banished from our world and the light is restored. Bless you all. Citizens. We got him covered. So, it begins. It is I, Luna Freya, blood of the Oracle. Goddess of the seas, I beseech you, enter into this covenant that the king might reclaim the stone. Let's do this. 
I know what you must know. That the King of Kings is to drive the darkness from our star. It is in receiving mercy that men offer praise, and in shedding grace that the gods solicit worship. I vow, the king will prove himself worthy. Hey, your power! Give it up! <laughs> Don't you understand? I'm the king! <laughs> So, you want to do this the hard way? Fine! If I take you down...
Now, about that ring. On second thought, you let him have it. And do remind him about the crystal. Oh, Prince, your bride awaits! I will pass the ring to the rightful king. When the prophecy is fulfilled, all enthralled to darkness shall know peace.
It's done. Noctis? Uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. <laughs> and you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? Would that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Farewell. Dear Noctis. Back with us. <clears throat> I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. Ah, oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. 
And Luna? She has passed. Umbra left that for you. Thank you. 